I think it has to do with the love of Shreveport that he has, the love of the community that he has, the fact that you know his family has been in this community for a hundred years or plus. I look at George and, and see that George continues that legacy or the heritage of serving this community, the love of the community and making it a better place for all of us. In 1914, Corby's and Nelson will be 100 years old. Uh, there aren't very many businesses left. Uh, that doesn't really mean anything except that you've survived and adapted a few more times than, than the other guys. Uh, I had an MBA, a, a JD, and an LLM, so I knew a lot about a lot of things, but insurance wasn't one of them. So the first thing I had to do was learn the subject matter. I really had the privilege of working with my dad for, you know, 10 or 15 years while he was really at the top of his game. And, you know, what a mentor to have to, to get to see him at his peak effectiveness. George is not a micromanager. He hired, he always hired good people, uh, gave them the tools to do the job and make sure that they knew what was expected of them and then he got out of the way and let them do what they had been hired to do. He lets us all run our businesses. Whether we run them through the roof or whether we run them in the ground, we're gonna run them and he's gonna be there to help advise us, counsel us, and you know, get us out of hot water every now and again if we get there. He thinks about this all the time. He wants his employees to develop to be the best that they can be and to reach their potential. And he sees potential and everybody. George has taught me how to, how, to, how to slow down, take a deep breath, assess the situation around me, and, and from there make strategic decisions. Well, he's quiet and contemplative, and when he speaks, um, he, um, it's almost as if he's handing you uh, a, a weighted gem. Uh, because he's taken time to think through what he uh, wants to share with you. George is probably the only person I know today that drinks uh, Tab. And he, I, I think he drinks it so often that I have wondered if Coca-Cola was going to rename the drink to George. I've been on trips with George where I don't know how much clothes he brought in the bag, but he's got about a 12-pack of tabs, so he's going to at least survive the trip. I discovered tab when I was uh, in college, and everybody else was drinking beer, and I'd drink four or six Cokes a night at a fraternity party, and I couldn't understand why I was getting as fat as the guys who were drinking the beer. And so there was a slot at the bottom with this thing called tab in it that had one calorie. I could drink five or six of them uh, at night, and of course back then I could do it and still sleep. He came in and uh, Danny said, have you met Claire? And George said, I don't think I have, and we were introduced that way. And um, of course it was, you know, a business setting, so, you know, I didn't say anything particular about it. And then a few weeks later, a mutual friend arranged a dinner party, and in invited me to invite her. Uh, of course, I, I think she set it all up. If you ask her, you'll get a completely different version. You know, and we went from 10 months from how do you do to I do. So it was quite a whirlwind. But it lasted 30 years, so I guess it was right. The wonderful partnership that George and Claire have um, in this community, um, in business, in their volunteer efforts, and in their social lives, and then the way they make everyone, everyone feel as if they're part of the Nelson family too. How in the world did I know when I was so young that this man would be such a fabulous dad? How did I know that? He was, is, just an incredible father. Uh, we've been married 30 years now. Our kids just went with us to celebrate our 30th anniversary. It's, uh, it was pretty neat that they could all stop whatever they were doing and do that with us. So we've had a great 30 years. How many people can say that they sit on the board of Centenary College and that's the same board 
that your dad sat on. You know, there's some things out there that George have been able to accomplish that, you know, his dad also did, and that, that's pretty cool. Every day I have a chance to interact with the Nelson legacy. Uh, my desk, the president's desk at Centenary College, is his father's uh, desk. We are not moving. We love it here and we want other people to love it as much as we do. And he knows that the community has supported his family businesses and he's, he's very grateful for that. So he wants to support the community in terms of its growing. He's not only supportive of all of the organizations here in Shreveport and many of the organizations love to have a good time together but he's also right in the middle of uh, celebrating uh, the, the good times with all those organizations and the people that make them up. I would think that he is equally as committed to making sure that the next generation of business leaders and community leaders is as committed as his family has always been to making this place a great place to live. It goes beyond the business deal. It, it's about, at the end of the day, you know, the, the legacy we all leave behind, and that's one thing George has taught us all. I just, I always saw George as a good businessman, but importantly, a good man too. He sure has uh, made a difference in the life of uh, my family and me, and I know that he's made a difference in the life of the college as well. Our relationship started in business and has developed into a great friendship. The Nelson family gave me an opportunity to get in the insurance business. It's been the best opportunity I've ever had in my life. I say congratulations to George and thank you for the opportunities you've given me. And I just hope that um, we can keep them going. <music>